Hi guys, welcome to the board of studies questions for this subject, SCPM. It's a self-paced paper whereby the students have to study themselves, give the examination, get minimum uh, 50 upon 100, then it is all over. For rest of your life, you might not have to worry. But obviously, you there is a reason that ICA has put this subject. And that reason is this is the only subject out of all the subjects which teaches you how to be running business. You know, every other subject like law, DT, your IDT, your FR, all of them are rule-based subjects. Like, you know, there is absolutely like, you know, no discretion left upon us much except to try to interpret whatever others have told. But business is whatever we make. Okay, sometimes we might think that our business will not do good but it does very good vice versa is also true sometimes everybody is sure that this is going to be doing like you know great like by juice but then it did not do good nobody thought one day nokia will not be there in the mobile phone industry although it is still there but to a very small extent okay so this is business it is full of uncertainties full of thrill business best way to learn it is to do it if you cannot do it at this stage then read about it that's what this subject is all about You have further doubts about this subject, please message us on our telegram ID at the rate agent next. And uh, in case you wish to be enrolling for the complete course, which is there with us, you all can click on the description below. Let's do our question for today. This question is all about life cycle costing, but not life cycle of a company. It's life cycle of an industry. In the industry life cycle, which of the following best characterizes an industry in a growth stage? So industry is in a growth stage, not a certain company, not Tata Motors, but say, Electric cars, okay, that is the industry, okay, that is there in the growth stage. Now, before I say all the options, no, let me try to give you some examples of like, you know, industries today which are there in the growth stage, as per me, okay. Uh, first, this is online gambling. Online gambling is one of the most growing industries in the entire world. Something like, say, uh, Delta Corp, you all have like, you know, Dream 11, all these companies, like, you know, and any new company comes, there is a place for them also. Any new website comes, people start to be like, you know, placing the bets over there also. Like when India won the World Cup. Okay, like it was something like call and put that happens in the share market. Okay, price of India fell down to 20 paisa also at one time. Okay, then it skyrocketed. So, um, this is one of the industries which is growing. Let me not say much about the gambling part. Okay, further making ethanol from sugarcane now you all must be knowing that to cut down on the imports of uh, crude oil one option is generate petrol ourselves but how to generate the petrol okay then dilute it using ethanol and now 20 percent will be the limit so 20 percent uh, ethanol can be mixed in one liter of petrol okay so that will make petrol far cheaper so ethanol one of the ways to be producing it is from sugarcane so therefore uh, sugar industries are a growing industry at this stage Third might be some example like say EV cars, again a growing industry, has been there for two or three years but I think there is unlimited scope and every new car is successful. If you all think MG came after Tata Motors, yes but it is doing very good. Hyundai came after uh, MG in India in terms of the EV cars, it is still doing very good. Think what happens when Maruti will come out with electric cars. Although I still think there is very less probability of Maruti coming out with the uh, EV cars. I think they'll directly come out with the hydrogen based cars. In any case, let's proceed further. AI is the next growing industry in the world. Okay, who would have thought company like NVIDIA one day will take over Microsoft and will take over uh, Apple in terms of market capitalization, although for a small time only. But if you will ever like, you know, think about NVIDIA because my brother holds some stocks of it from last 20 years and from what it has grown to what it is mind boggling mind boggling so these are the industries in the growth stages now do remember whenever industry is in a growth stage no everybody who enters in the industry basically has like you know huge scope you might not even do product differentiation but as the industry is going everything grows here so today any new company comes into uh, ai it could be companies in india like infosys wipro hcl uh, companies like Birla Soft, okay, all these companies are going to be doing great because AI itself is a booming industry. Okay, I got lost in whatever I was saying. So bring me the four options, please. New goods are being created all the time. Uh, okay, industry is growing. So everybody actually creates same types of products here. 
a select few companies control the majority of the market okay i don't think so competition starts to be coming in because it's a growing industry so everybody wants the piece of the cake yaar yeah. third one third one is there is a little threat from substitutes and few competitors to be very honest competitors will be high because it's a industry which is growing now okay so like you know as such every company like there are i think very few substitutes because every company will be almost making the same products only okay so can be true but then competitors are high so therefore i'll not regard this statement as fully correct fourth one there is no pressing need for competitive differentiation i think point number 4 will make maximum sense over here industry is growing now everybody enters they want like you know some part of the market share yaar so at that time product differentiation is not required because industry is growing if the industry is growing now as such everybody like customers also will not have much choice because industry is growing if the industry is growing you know customers will not be many and bargaining power of the sellers means like you know the companies who are selling that product will be high because industry is growing so like you know if industry grows usually people will buy whatever is there yaar in these markets okay so i think out of the four if you'll try to be thinking say companies which are there in ai i want to have like you know a feature on my website that you all talk to the website and say i want explanation of this concept and automatically that video starts now if i want such kind of feature on my website today if you go to any company who is there in the software field you tell them what they want they will get it done okay the price obviously is whatever you'll have to be paying to them so at that time i will have no choice but to be paying to those companies whatever they all ask for so i think so four should be the answer i think so that should be the correct one i'm reading whatever i say says there is no pressing need for competitive differentiation is correct so last one as i told okay in the sense that there is enough room for everyone that's what i told as the industry expands competitive differentiation is not much critical when new players enter a growing industry competition intensifies during the growth phase due to constant supply shortage competition in the industry is low and buyer power is relatively low that's what i told the seller's power is far more so buyer's power is automatically low most organizations can survive with rapid growth rather than focusing on future organizations main concern will be to meet the demand as it arises okay so i guess answer should be point number 4 itself that's it we are done with uh, this mcq for today This is the playlist of all the questions from the module for this subject. Do ensure to check that out. Before you start away with board of studies questions, I would always advise that you watch these. Uh, I guess there are sixty-five to seventy videos. So watch those videos. They are arranged in a playlist form. There is a chapter-wise uh, playlist also for the uh, students. So ensure that you check it out. Okay, and I'll see you next time with another lecture. Till then, take care, guys. Bye.